Alrighty guys, so today is, welcome to not day one of um, the how not to die diet, so challenge. So I am actually um, going to do a food prep video for you guys today and it actually is like really important to do this ahead of time. So don't skip this video because this one is uh, an important one. If you're going to be making his recipes in the long run, you'll need to have some of these things prepped ahead of time because you don't want to do it at the last minute. So. There are a bunch of different recipes in here that are things that he would like to have, um, that he would have you use throughout the book. The first one is almond milk. I'm not really too excited about worrying about almond milk. I'll just use some soy milk. I, I know that's got more fat in it than almond milk does, but I'm also not going to make, um, just, I'm not gonna make almond milk. But then the next thing is some date syrup, but you need to make, before you can make the date syrup, you need to be able to make some um, lemons. He's got this little, blurb right here on the side so it's not one of the recipes actually but this little thing on the side and it uses it throughout a bunch of different recipes in the beginning so i'm going to do the um lemon part first so basically i bought some meyer lemons just because i like them they taste really good so you take a lemon and you peel it and then you actually blend the whole thing obviously take some seeds out first if there are any in there which there probably are um but you just peel this and then you um, blend it and you take it one teaspoon at a time and put it in an ice cube tray and freeze it so that then when you when it calls for to use it says one teaspoon blended peeled lemon so when it calls for that you have it already ready to go and you just put it right in your recipe rather than having to try to blend up a lemon so he says that the reason to do that is because you get a whole lot more nutrition out of the lemon if you use the whole lemon rather than using like lemon juice in the refrigerator so that makes perfectly logical sense to me so I am going to peel this and I'm going to I need one teaspoon for the date syrup um, I don't need any for that, don't need any for that. And I need two teaspoons for the umami sauce. And I don't need any for those two. Okay, cool. So I need three teaspoons out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. And um, after that, there's another thing that needs to get started right away. So you know me and um, garlic, guys. I'm kind of lazy when it comes to garlic. I don't actually do the whole, um, using an entire garlic bulb type thing, but he has a thing in here for roasted garlic and he has you using roasted garlic in recipes, so I thought I would give it a shot. So basically what he says is take this, chop off the top third, wrap it in some um, parchment paper, and put it in the oven for at 400 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. So we're gonna get that started. This is gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees. I'm going to blend this up, and then we're going to come back and make some date syrup. Okay guys, so date syrup. I've actually got the lemon, um, blended lemon, and yeah, be careful to get, take out all the seeds. I apparently missed a couple. But anyway, there is some lemon. It's very, very thick. Like, I was kind of expecting it to be thinner. I don't know why, I just was. So, there's lemon in there. I'm going to stick that in the freezer. Um, I have put one cup of dates. I know it's a little overflowing, but um, I wanted to make it an even number. So there's 10 dates in here. So one cup of dates or 10 medjool dates, it goes, into your blender like that and so what I'm going to do actually is put a cup of boiling water in here and let it sit for a while and then when I'm ready to blend it up I'm just going to leave it just like this and put in one teaspoon of the blended lemon so the blended lemon looks like this and so I'm going to put one teaspoon there's three teaspoons in there I'm going to put one teaspoon in with the date syrup and it says transfer to a glass jar or an airtight container and store in the refrigerator for two to three weeks so this is going to be the next step in the process. So I am going to go get that done. And then we are going to move on to, let's see what's on the next page for recipes. Ah, savory spice blend. And this is something that he uses um, throughout his book. So you really will want to make some of this. Um, and he uses it basically in dishes in place of salt. So anyway, this is going to be something that we need to work on. It makes about a half a cup it says. And basically you're just putting a bunch of spices together. So it's not too complex sounding. So we'll do that in just a minute. Okay guys, so we're going to make something he calls savory spice blend. And I'm actually going to make half of a batch um, twice. Uh, it says it makes about half of a cup. So I do wanna make that amount, but I only wanna do it half and half because I don't know, you're supposed to mix it up in a spice grinder or a blender. So my coffee grinder, which we, I don't, we don't drink coffee. We use this purely for spices. I don't know exactly how much that can fit and I don't wanna to try to overflow it. So I'm basically gonna use, make half of this recipe. So, and I'm just gonna do it twice. So when you make this, make twice this amount, okay? 
so first things first, we need one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. So one tablespoon of nooch goes in there. And then we need half of a tablespoon of some onion powder. Half of a tablespoon. Okay. And then we need one half of a tablespoon of some dried parsley. Oh, that is boy friendly. Bummer. Okay, so one half of a tablespoon of dried parsley. Okay. And then one tablespoon of dried basil. Actually, one half of a tablespoon. Yes, one half of a tablespoon of dried basil. One half of a tablespoon. Okay, then one teaspoon of thyme. Apparently didn't get out a teaspoon, I got out a half of a teaspoon, so we'll just do one half twice. Okay, one teaspoon of thyme, and then one teaspoon of garlic powder, which I'm just gonna use granulated garlic. Um, one teaspoon of mustard powder. Again, I'm just using half of a teaspoon, so two of those. One teaspoon of that. One teaspoon of paprika. And one quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric. I don't care for the way turmeric smells. It's a great spice though. Even my daughter takes it in orange juice. It's awesome for her. And one quarter, no, one quarter of a teaspoon of celery seeds. We have a vegan doctor actually, and that's what he recommended for her because she has, um, she has a problem with her um, joints and when she exercises a lot, she gets um, she just has lots of issues body-wise. So um, she's very trim and everything, so it's not like she's carrying extra weight on her. Isn't that's causing a problem? I think it's just probably genetic and seems we don't know anything about, since they're adopted, we don't really know anything about their um, genetic background. He just said, you know what, let's just do some turmeric every day. And so she does and it seems to help out a lot actually. So anyway, ooh, the garlic is done. I'll show you guys that in just a minute. So I've got all this in the coffee blender. And it looks like I probably could have done twice. Thank you, Anthony. Um, so I'm going to put the lid on this and I'm going to pulverize it, I guess. And then I'm going to put it in a little spice container and I will show it to you guys in just a second. Alrighty guys, so I did two batches of that and I've got it in my little glass jar. So we have glass jars. This is a six ounce. We've got four ounces and six ounces. We used to make my second child, um, we made all of his baby food from organic and from scratch. And so we had tons and tons of little glass jars that we had, we put in the freezer and yeah, glass and freezers don't usually work out that well. We had all sorts of issues with that, but these worked out really well for um, baby food. Um, so anyway, we have a bunch left over. So this is a perfect application for that. So there we go. Got a whole bunch of savory spice blend. So here we go, this is awesome. Next thing up, I'm going to make, there's um, a recipe in here for nutty Parmesan, which I'm not going to make because I like the way that I make Parmesan cheese, uh, vegan Parmesan cheese. And so you guys have seen that video in the past. Um, so I would continue to make it that way. And then the next one is a, oh, the roasted garlic is done. Hang on a second, I'll bring it over. I'll be right back. Okay, so this looks really kind of interesting. I didn't know this was what a roasted garlic would look like, but. It smells amazing. Okay, so what you do with this is you take it and it's, yeah, it's cool enough. So you take this and you squeeze it out over a little bowl and it, those little pieces should just fall right into a bowl. Maybe you guys know this already and you do this on a regular basis. I've never done this before. This seems like a lot of work, however, sure smells good. So maybe this is totally worth it. So this empties out into a glass bowl and then um, this is all you have to do for this. I do need um, to make the next thing I need to make is a vegetable broth. Oh, and it doesn't call for this. Nope, it just calls for regular garlic. Oh, well, I thought I was gonna use this right away. Bummer, dude. Okay, so I'm going to go 
put this in a little glass bowl and then I'm going to um, let's see I'm not, I'm not actually sure how to do, squeeze this gently does it so it just slips right out so maybe I'll go play with this for a minute um, hopefully it comes right out super super easy but he said it would uh, oh yes it sure does look at there there's a little garlic cool that's exciting Okay, so I'm going to go put these in a glass bowl and then I'm going to get some vegetables out for making vegetable broth and then I will be back with you guys in a minute. All right guys, so let's make some veggie broth. This is actually a really lengthy process so I'm going to start it today and um, I have to go to work tonight and so I'll finish it tomorrow um, in the morning for you guys. But to start with this, we're going to, basically you take a pot, which I don't think you need this big of a pot. A smaller pot would be okay. It's just that this happened to be one that was sitting on the counter. So this is the one I'm gonna use. Um, you put one cup of hot, well, you put a cup of water in here and you bring it to a boil. My, well, my water is already boiling, so, well, it's not necessarily boiling, but it's very hot. So you put a cup of water in here and then you bring it to a medium heat. You want to add one onion that you have coarsely chopped. So I have some vegetables over here. So you add an onion that you have coarsely chopped, just big chunks, you know, no big deal, big chunks. And then you want a carrot that is one inch slices and two celery stalks that you have um, chopped into pieces. So you put that and dump some celery on the floor while you're at it. <sighs> Careful. So you want to put all this stuff in here. I'm going to actually put a little bit more celery in there because the celery is, uh, I dumped some on the floor. And then you also want to put in some garlic. It says to put in three cloves of garlic. And so this is a typical me. I'm not going to measure that. Uh, there is some garlic, ta-da. There we go. I like garlic, that's just fine. So I'm going to put this on the stove. You let this, do you cover it? You do not cover it. So you cook it for five minutes. So I'm going to go get that process started and then you're gonna add a few more ingredients. So I will show you guys what that is in just a second. Okay guys, so that has been on the stove doing its thing for five minutes and now you add a few more ingredients. So you guys actually know if you've been watching me for a little bit how I feel about parsley, um, not a huge fan but it does call for putting in some parsley and so i'm going to do that i have it i'm going to it's a third of a cup so i'm going to put that in there um because i think it's going to be in a huge amount of broth and i'm not going to even notice that it's there so i'm following the recipe if when i make it in the long run it's just mm, not quite right then i'll just leave it out the next time i do it and that's fine but there is a third of a cup of coarsely chopped parsley in there you also want to put in i believe it's one half teaspoon one half teaspoon of ground black pepper so I will measure that, although I don't usually. And then it calls for two dried mushrooms. Um, I buy, or have bought, I should say, this is a one-time purchase, dried shiitake mushrooms, and I tried making something with them and it didn't work out very well because they were very, very spongy. Like, very spongy. And I'm not exactly sure, when you take this, how much of this equals a mushroom. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll put in like that much or so? I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. Let's just say we're going to grab a handful of dried mushroom and plop it in there. That looks about good. That's that's what we're going to do. I have no idea. Anyways, so you put these three things in there along with seven cups of water. Bring it to a boil. Reduce the heat to low. Simmer for an hour and a half. That is going to happen tonight. The rest of the recipe is going to have to happen tomorrow because I don't have an hour and a half before I have to leave for work to show you guys what to do after that. So this is what we're going to do. And I'll show you, um, I don't know, you'll just come next in the video, obviously, because I can edit it. It's not a problem. It'd be very easy. But I'm um, just letting you know. So this is going to go in there with the black pepper and the um, parsley. And then I'm going to let it simmer on low for an hour and a half. And thankfully, my husband is home and he can just turn it off for me in an hour and a half. So we're going to do that. And then let's see. I think I'm going to make some umami sauce for you guys. What time is it? It is 6.30. Yeah, I have time. I'm going to make you guys some umami sauce and then um, that's going to be it for this video. There are a couple of other, like there's a balsamic date glaze, there's a ranch dressing. Um, it talks about roasted red bell peppers. So there's some other stuff in the intro here that we could make. Um, if that comes up, I will just make the ranch dressing when it's time to eat. Um, I will also just go ahead and make um, anything else that it calls for at the time of, because the rest of this is pretty easy. So we're gonna go stick this in here and get it going with seven cups of water. And I will check back with you guys in a few minutes to make some umami sauce. Alrighty everyone, so it is morning time and I am back home from work and changed back into people clothes. Um, and I'm going to finish up doing broth with you and then we are going to make some umami sauce. So basically 
this finished doing its thing last night. Here you go, take a peek. And that's what it looks like. And so what I'm going to do is put all the chunkies into, uh, I would use the big blender, but it's busy at the moment. So I'm gonna just put the pieces in here and with some of the sauce, and then I'm going to blend this up. And um, then I'm going to return it back into the pot and I'm going to warm it back up again because I need to take some of the broth out and mix in two tablespoons of white miso. So I have miso in the refrigerator. It's a 25% it's a less sodium miso. I don't see that, that probably matters. So once it's warm again, I need to take some out, put two tablespoons of miso into it, um, and then put that in the pot. Um, and then you are supposed to put savory spice blend in to taste. It doesn't say, it doesn't say how much, it just says to add it to taste. So I guess I will try it and then um, see what it tastes like and then I'll let you know how much I added in to give it a flavor. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna go blend, add some, warm it up, add some miso and then some spices to see what happens. So I'll touch back with you, base with you guys in just a few minutes after I do that. All right, so the broth is done. It is very thick for a broth, which is totally fine. It's very orange, which obviously would be with, from the carrots, um, and it's very strong. I did not put any of the savory blend in there. This is what it looks like. I didn't put any of the savory blend in there because it is very, very, very strong in flavor. Yeah, it is very strong. Um, does not need a savory blend at all. So. Um, next step after that is done is to make the umami sauce which calls for a cup of this. So I have put a cup of vegetable broth that is warm in here and the first thing you're supposed to do is, is heat this up. It, it's already warm so we're going on to the next step. So we need to put in our sauce one teaspoon of minced garlic and one teaspoon of fresh grated ginger um, and then you're supposed to simmer that for three minutes. I never buy fresh ginger at all because I really don't like it. Um, and gosh, I hate, gosh, I sound so picky. I'm, I'm really not that picky, I don't think. Um, but I really don't care for ginger at all. However, I bought fresh ginger because that's what it said to do. So one teaspoon of garlic. Okay, got that going. And one teaspoon of ginger. I had my husband uh, grate this for me and this is all I got. So that's gonna be close enough. <laughs> um, yeah, it wasn't grating very nicely. I'm not actually sure. I mean, I've got, a, got this thingy. But it wasn't working, so I don't know. I should have bought the jar, that's what I told him. It was like $4.99 or something for the jar of minced um, ginger versus the little root that I bought was 45 cents. I still should have probably bought the jar. <laughs> oh well, you live and you learn. Anyways, you put those two things in there, you simmer it for three minutes, I'm going to go do that. And then the next process is to stir in one tablespoon of blackstrap molasses. I've never bought molasses before in my life, so there you go molasses. So one tablespoon of that, one and a half teaspoons of date syrup, which will be easy enough to do. There's my date syrup that's been in the refrigerator overnight, so it's, oh, nope, it's not completely solid. Whew, that would have been bad. And um, what else do you put in there at that point? Tomato paste, black pepper. So you're supposed to use a half a teaspoon of jarred tomato paste, which is really a bummer because I opened this jar to use half of a teaspoon of jarred tomato paste. So I'll have to look for a recipe tonight that uses some jarred tomato paste because yeah and some half a teaspoon of black pepper. So I'm gonna put those things in and then it, let that boil. Um, and once that is all done, we're going to take that off the heat and mix in one and a half teaspoons of miso and two teaspoons of blended pe lemon peel, which, oh, that's my garlic. Hee hee, you don't want me to show you that. Whew, that's really strong. I saved up two teaspoons last night that I did not put in the freezer. So there is that. When all is said and done, you put in one tablespoon of rice vinegar, which apparently says is an honorary green light condiment because of the health promoting benefits of its acetic acid. Ah, who knew? Okay, so let me go do that and I'll come back and tell you guys if this stuff is really good. And um, that's all I'm going to be making for now. And that should be enough to get us started on uh, this challenge. So I'll go make this and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I've made the umami sauce and I'm going to reserve judgment for until it is um, on something that I'm eating because it is very, very, very strong, which isn't a big surprise. I know Dr. Gregor really likes flavors and stuff, which is great. Um, there is a spoonful of it. It is, whew, strong. Um, it's not any flavor I've ever had before, so I, I can't tell you what it tastes like. Um, 
I don't know, it's very strong. <laughs> so anyways, now we've made umami sauce. So I have some garlic and I have some blended lemon in the freezer and I have some date syrup and I have some um, vegetable broth that is very, very strong and I have some umami sauce that is also very, very strong. So there you go. We now have a whole bunch of stuff that we can work with on making some meals. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me for today. I'm gonna go put stuff together so I can take a thumbnail picture and be done. And I will catch you guys tomorrow for day one.